Hi there, hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna address shoulders, shoulder pain, or actually neck pain, because those two are connected. We're gonna do four main basic movements of the shoulders that each and every person alive should be able to perform to be healthy and to be mobile. So those are actually protraction, retraction, depression, and elevation. The things that scapula needs to be able to perform so you would be able to lift your hands. Put your hands down, rotate your arms, wash your back, and stuff like that, yeah? Which are actually very important for your everyday life. So, I'm gonna show all four, and then we're gonna like do them in, in a row, but I, I will probably give you kind of counts how many you should do to be able to progress in some time and to gain more mobility and strength in your shoulders. So, first uh, basic movement is elevation. So, you put your arms above your head, and you should probably look yourself in the mirror or something and maybe some of you won't be able to put the arms above because they're gonna be here well that signalizes you're not too mobile in your shoulders but fear not because with these exercises you will be mobile in time so you will put your arms as much as you can above yourself and you will you will try to elevate your shoulder blades your shoulders all the way towards your ears like this and relax the rest of the body just concentrate on being able to go as high as you can this will kind of feel like you're getting stiff here which is perfect because we are engaging the muscles needed for our elevation of the shoulder so this is the first movement the second movement is the opposite one depression you will remember that the shoulders will be depressed <laughs> so you're pulling down your shoulder blades and actively actively really depressing those shoulders like you're trying to make your leg uh, <laughs> like like you're trying to make your neck really really elongated so you inhale and neck, exhale you just <sighs> depress the shoulders down i always think about pushing my fingers towards the floor because that helps like i'm trying to read something down yeah okay this is the second movement the third movement is protraction Protraction of the shoulder blades means actually dividing them, putting them aside. So if you would watch my back, it would be like I'm doing this. Yeah, so I'm I'm going away one shoulder blade shoulder blade from another. If you would watch me from the side, it's actually like this. I'm trying to reach very, very far away from myself. Feel free to release your neck here. It's gonna be much easier for the neck and then return in neutral position. This movement is probably one of the most important ones you should be doing because people quite often have a lot of problem with rotator cuff and these exercises will engage the muscles needed for proper rotator cuff movement as well. The second one, as important as protraction, is retraction, the opposite movement. So you are actually connecting your shoulder blade. So first we were doing this with them, right? And now we're doing this. So we are trying to squeeze them together like you have a tomato in between and you want to squish the tomato yeah also the body is neutral don't worry about the rest of the body in the exercises i will show more complex things to be um, done here but right now this is it yeah so elevation depression protraction retraction four basic movements we are doing today we you can do them standing like me or you can do them on the floor you can do them against the wall as well but first let's try it a couple of times in a row each and every movement standing so you stand oh my mat is like all over the place <laughs> so you stand in hip wide apart position you put your arms above your head and what you will be doing is pulling up your pelvis because we want to engage our back even more and pulling up our pelvis engaging our glutes engaging our lower abs is actually going to make that harder so you're going to progress and get better and gain more in in like less amount of time than just elevating the shoulders but stay with me so you're inhaling and on the exhale your shoulders are going up and you are doing a posterior pelvic tilt squeezing the bum lengthening your legs and release this way inhale exhale really high with your shoulders all the way towards your ears your brain and relax and again and relax once more from the side and again and relax this is not easy i know it looks very simple but it's not depression the same thing 
So you're standing, pulling up your pelvis, pushing arms down. Uh, inhale and exhale down. And again, and down. Notice how my arms are going down and the head is going up. And the last one. You will find depression much easier than the elevation, but that's kind of logical, right? I mean, in everyday life, when do you put your arms above your head? Like, never. We don't do this anymore as people, as humans, right? So you should be doing this more often. Put the hands above the head. Third, protraction. So, you're standing again, inhale, exhale. Now don't do anything with your pelvis, just stay neutral. You're exhaling and doing the protraction. And inhale again and this will feel actually really comfy, especially in the morning, because this exercise three, exhale, is really, 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 me, really, me, is really warming up and at the same time stretching your back. So it's so juicy and good. Yeah, and retraction. Now you will pull your pelvis up and could contract, retract, actually contraction, but still. And release. And two. Release. And four. Release. And five. And release. Okay, for anybody who have problems with their wrists and are unable to do the next exercise that should be on the floor, I suggest using the wall, especially for the movement of retraction and retraction. So you're standing here and what you're doing, you're gently pressing the wall, dividing your shoulder blades. Yeah. And then the retraction, of course, is connecting them. So this, this, this <laughs> is for somebody who can't do what I'm going to do next. So I'm on the floor, I'm doing all four. My arms are on the floor. Be careful of the wrist uh, position. If you're unsure how it should be done, check out my other YouTube videos because you can find all that there. Yeah, so hit it and then continue with this. So you're standing here, your spine is neutral, your core is a little bit active. We don't want you to be slacking here, right? We want you to be active. Your shoulders are down, neck is elongated. What you are doing is a protraction. So you're pushing the floor and dividing your shoulder blades, exhaling, and then returning to neutral, then connecting them, retraction, and neutral. And again, divide, neutral, and connect, and neutral. Let's go two more times, and protraction, and retraction. Once more, protraction, and retraction. Okay, this is harder than standing. And if you want to progress it even more, what I would advise is to go in a plank or in a bare position where your knees are elevated. So an option is this, protraction, retraction here, or in a plank, protraction, retraction, protraction, retraction. Just try to um, uh, be stable here because I don't want your lower back to be doing actually lots of curves, yeah? Because we wanna isolate only the upper back movement because protraction, retraction, as well as um, elevation and uh, depression are all about the upper body movements for your shoulders, as I mentioned. And the last one, the, progress, the, the most progressed one ever would be actually doing all of this on one arm. So uh, I would advise for people who are able to do all of the mentioned before to try the last uh, version. So if you are unable to do 10 repetitions of each exercise that I just showed, or you are too tired already now, don't do the last one. It just may be a bit too much for you. So just, you know, exercise this, wait for a while. And then when you are able to do that repetitions, then progress to this one, yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna be on one arm, the other arm is somewhere behind me or in the air, doesn't matter. What you're doing first is your protraction, pushing the floor away, going into neutral and then retraction. Yeah. So to maybe see my shoulder here a bit better. So what I'm doing is I'm really pushing the floor. My scapula is allowing me to do so. And then upon returning, it's going really inside. You will feel like your shoulder is going to pop out here. It's going to be a lot of tension in your wrists. 
So I would really advise for everybody who have wrist problems not to do this, yeah? So don't go. I mean, you're like holding like 50 kilos in one arm. Okay, divide it with the leg. Anyways, it's a lot of kilos, yeah? So don't do it. And that's about it. So for your shoulder health, this is really important, yes? So do it. Uh, I would advise 10 repetitions of each, so 10 elevations, 10 depressions, 10 protractions, 10 retractions. Then if you feel comfy enough, go to the floor, try on all four. If that's comfy enough, elevate the knees from the floor and of course progress into plank or one arm version. And that's about it. And I don't know, have a nice day. <laughs> have healthy shoulders. So you can shake like this. <laughs>